Hey, fifth graders, this is Mr. Berner from Clovercroft Elementary. I hope you're doing well and enjoying some time at home with your family. And maybe you're doing some math from time to time as well. Now, I know you're all really good at your multiplication facts, and that's great. Love hearing that. But it's important that you stay sharp on those facts as you get ready to head to sixth grade in a few months, because those sixth grade teachers, just like your fifth grade teachers this year, they're going to expect you to know them really, really well. So we need to make sure we're practicing those. Of course, if you have flashcards at home, that's an easy way for you to practice these, obviously. So that would be good. But if not, you can make your own flashcards. There are flashcard apps out there on your devices that you could use. Um, but also there's a number of ways to generate numbers that you could use to multiply, such as dice or playing cards or dominoes or even random number generator apps on your devices. So any of those would work. Now, you may be wondering what these multiplication facts are here on the screen and what these are. These are considered, generally considered to be the most difficult multiplication facts for students when they're learning uh, multiplication. And you may be thinking back to when you were learning your facts, you know, like, yeah, I had trouble with these, or maybe you're still having trouble with a few of these. So maybe this is a way that you could focus your work at home, make sure you know these really, really well, so you're fully prepared for, for middle school. And finally, Maybe you should challenge an older brother or sister or a parent or a grandparent or another adult that's living there in the house to a multiplication competition. See if you could beat them. I think that'd be a lot of fun for your family and you'd also be practicing math at the same time. All right. Good luck on your multiplication facts and have a great day. Bye.